Okay, so one of the questions I get asked the most about an Orange Pi 5 is what Bluetooth and Wi-Fi adapters are suitable. Now, there is an official adapter, which I've not seen yet, uh, but it goes in the M.2 slot here, and that gives you Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. That's probably going to have good support because it is the official one. The thing is that Orange Pi OS is based on Android, as well as obviously the Android 12 build, and they don't tend to support Bluetooth adapters. This is a Sabrent Bluetooth adapter which works with loads of different operating systems but doesn't work with Android. May work with Linux but obviously part of the appeal of these SBCs is trying different operating systems playing around with various different things. So I would say rather than try and get a USB adapter you're better off to get something like this which is a Wi-Fi to Ethernet adapter. So basically uh, you plug in a USB in to power it so this powers the little device and then the Ethernet connection goes into the Ethernet connection on the Orange Pi. And as far as the Orange Pi is concerned, it's using Ethernet. So that means that compatibility is, is as good as you can get. So any operating system is going to support Ethernet on the Orange Pi 5. So everything is going to work. And also when you switch between operating systems, so I've got KDE Plasma, I've got Ambien, I've got um, Android 12, I've also got Orange Pi OS and I'm going to be trying more operating systems in the future, you can just put the memory card in, boot it up, and it works, because this is already connected to Wi-Fi. So as soon as you plug this in, even without the Ethernet connection, this connects to my local Wi-Fi, and uh, then I can just plug Ethernet into any device, Raspberry Pi, Smart TV, anything you can think of, and it starts working. I've got another video on the setup of this Vonitz adapter, but there is a simpler way of doing it, and that's one of these power line or home plug adapters. So basically this plugs in to the mains. It also has an ethernet connection. So this particular one goes between the ethernet connection on the Orange Pi and the adapter. And then at the other end, you have another one of these plugged in near your router with a cable going from here to your router. And same as before with the Vonitz, that means that this is ethernet. Well, this is a proper wired connection throughout. There's no setup involved. The plugs, when you plug them both in, they talk to each other. They actually send it through the live cable of your main supply. So it's a really strong connection. Going to be faster than the Vonitz overall. I mean, it depends on what your internet connection is. But that's also another good option. And so I'll put a link in the description to the Vonitz. But I'll also have a look at, well, these TP-Link ones seem to be quite expensive. And most power line adapters I seem to remember being really quite cheap. So there's one for around about £26 on Amazon, so I'll put a link in the description of that. Now Bluetooth is not quite so simple, and uh, again because we're switching between different operating systems we need something that's supported. So I would say for now, uh, if your Bluetooth requirements are for a controller, I would probably go for uh, exactly what I use on my Raspberry Pi and I've been using on my Orange Pi up until now. This is a wireless adapter, it's an Xbox 360 style adapter, but it's actually not designed for just Xbox 360. This adapter only pairs with this particular controller, and again I'll put a link in the description to this. This is a YCC one, but there's loads of similar ones. Xbox 360 controllers have really good compatibility with pretty much every operating system you can think of, whether that's Chrome OS or Android or Linux or Windows. It pretty much works with everything. So rather than getting Bluetooth uh, on this device uh, with that official adapter, if it's just a controller you need, then I would say you're better off with this because again, there's no pairing involved. This thinks it's a wired controller. So you pop this into the USB uh, and then press the button and it will pair up to it and it will pretend to be a wired controller. So again, maximum compatibility. I switch between multiple operating systems on my Raspberry Pi and uh, it means that I don't have to think about it, I don't have to keep adapting, it's very, very compatible. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.